Grand afternoon, everybody. It's your Uncle 7-9, the Spiritual Savage, back to bring you a message this afternoon or morning or evening, wherever you are in this world. Um, it's currently two. Uh, it's currently 2.10 p.m. on June 6, 2024. It's 87 degrees Fahrenheit, mostly cloudy here in Minneapolis. It is going to be um, storming here soon, so uh, grab your umbrellas, okay? But let's show some thanks to the Most High God for bringing us here for this message. You know how I like to do. Show some gratitude and thanks. Um, I'm, I'm grateful to be here with you guys, okay? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you. Uh, thank you for the, the super chats and the super thanks, the cash apps and the PayPal donations. I appreciate you very much as well. Uh, and let's just jump right into this. What's up, baby? Good afternoon. So, um... I don't know. I, I wanted to to make to just you know before I get into the cards, I just wanted to talk about something real quick about something I something I considered, but I kind of got a confirmation from for it yesterday about how people um, use your use your image in your you know, like your pictures and stuff to create fake social media accounts. Um, I I accepted the fact a long time ago that I. I, I had suspected that somebody was um, taking my picture, creating a profile like on Facebook uh, or like a, for like messaging, and I and I and I and I suspected a while back that somebody 33 in the clock when I looked down that someone was um, New York is significant to what I'm talking about I suppose yeah someone uh, would create an account and would message people as if they were me. Uh, what can you do about that though you know what I'm saying like if you suspect that but uh, it, it what I got a confirmation for yesterday was kind of weird because it's like so somebody not only what you know because sometimes people will try to especially if they're trying to like smear campaign you or uh, or create a, a false narrative a whole lie about you people can do that you know people do do weird stuff like that all the time they just do uh, they create, you know, fake profiles of people and uh, pretend to be them, you know. Uh, and this was this what I had suspected. This was a few years ago because somebody had hacked into my um, my Facebook account. And I couldn't get in there for like a whole year and a half. And one of my friends was like, yeah, it said it, it, it had said that I was that I had changed my location to this other city that was like maybe 15 to 20 minutes away from where I was living. And so I was like, OK, so now I know who did that. Um, it's so funny because they all start just telling on each other, you know, like along the way, they all started to tell on each other, but they were all kind of doing a lot of the same stuff. You know, that's just, you know, whatever. Uh, but again, so, uh, but it, it, it never dawned on me that anybody would be creating an account to create messages. You know what I'm saying? Like, so say like if I, if I created a, a, a fake profile or Facebook account of you and then I started to message me, my, myself from that account with you saying threatening me possibly or making it seem like um, I was harassing you that that it crossed my mind uh, uh, just like for a smidgen <laughs> but I never gave it any kind of weight because I'm just kind of like well why would anybody be doing that people are weird like that though you know what I'm saying I I, I love social media uh, for for the good things that it offers, but the, you know, there is a, there's just a lot, especially with technology and the internet, that people do, that that really can kind of turn people off to being more active or more uh, engaging on social media. It is. That's why I feel like it's. Imp I don't know. I I I feel like it's very when it's safer safe enough is that what i want to say there needs to be i don't know because like i look for stuff to do in this city that um would support a healthy kind of active 
social life outside of social network you know what i'm saying to, to get like a physical interaction with people face face to face but there's not really much you know what i'm saying there's just not you know um well it is summertime now so i, I assume that uh summer you know summer will offer a lot of those things but even still though it's like you go to these public events uh, and people are everybody's on their phones or tablets or whatnot uh it's just not really all that engaging you know it's hard to engage people uh today because most of the people are walking around with with, with narpees, <laughs> herpes, narcissistic herpes spreading like spreading like wildfire. Most people are, you know, it's it's hard to find uh, high vibrational people, uh, and, and and not to say that these people have to be extremely spiritual or heavily religious or anything like that, but just people that are of a high vibe. It's really kind of hard to meet people like that, especially if uh, you know you're interested in possibly even dating someone. You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you I wouldn't trust any online dating and uh, a lot of times too you meet people out i mean how can you meet somebody out and about unless you're chatting with them on an app and realize you're sitting across from them uh, at a restaurant or on the bus or something like that it's just weird i don't know but uh you know i just heard that's why it's important to, to, to cut people off that you that you know don't mean you any good. I've said it a million times in here, it seems like. But I just heard that for somebody out there today, that's why it's important. If you are if you are dealing with somebody who has um, gaslit you, narked you out, okay, uh, has not been all that good to you and has exhibited um, a great deal of, uh, of deception, Spirit wants me to tell you right now, you might need to cut that person off, especially if this person likes to, likes to lie. Uh, because... Let's say, for instance, if you're seeing somebody and they're sneaky, you could just be dealing with a sneaky person. And for whatever reason, they create an account to to, show, to make it seem like you are harassing them, um, that you're threatening them or, you know, maybe trying to show people that, you you know, that you're very, that you're very kind of like a poor sexual behavior kind of energy. Because if anybody created an account of you, they could send themselves whatever. I mean, anything to make it seem like it's you. And on surface level, um, if they were going to use it for like, let's say, like the authorities or something like that, surface level authorities aren't going to be checking IP addresses and things like that. They're going to go off of face value of whatever, uh, whatever this person shows them or whoever they or whoever they show. But if you cut off contact with these people, um, there's there's you know, you can you can reasonably say, hey, I don't even talk to that person. Um, they could say, well, we got these messages, but well, that's definitely not me. But if you're engaging with that person, if you're still, if you're still, uh, if there's still some kind of existing relationship where you are communicating with this person and or seeing this person, even though, you know, this person has some very kind of deceptive ways, I, I'm, 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 I fear you might be in danger of, and I don't really like to use the word fear, but it is kind of like, I fear you might be in danger of possibly having someone, um, you know, uh, scapegoat you or set you up for something very bad and that's not for everybody you know if, if, if the message resonates then then you might want to re rethink some things but that's just what i heard confirmation okay let's start with the star seeds um oracle card here make sure you like share subscribe hit that notification bell select the all options so that you know all my uploads upload you feel me let me open up this window real quick one second y'all all right we get some cityscape 818 on the clock when i sat back down okay Somebody's birthday could be August 18th or February 19th. Okay. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day so far. Today is Tuesday. This time is going by so fast, man. I was just sitting, I was laying there thinking last night, like we're almost in the middle of June. Halfway through, the, we are officially halfway, halfway through the year, you know, however you want to look at that. But, but, you know. From the uh, is it the Gregorian ca calendar? Is that what is that what calendar we use? But per the Gregorian, uh, Gr Gr Gregorian? No, 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 Georgian, Georgian. Yeah, the Georgian calendar. I think that's the way you pronounce it. Georgian, yeah, the Georgian calendar. Not the Greg. There's not even an R at the beginning of that, Dwayne. But the Georgian calendar. Okay, the American calendar. The world. I don't know. The world calendar. We are officially halfway through the year. If we're going to go from the uh, 
We're, we're almost a little, what would that be then? No, we, we, we'd be like a third of the way, almost a third of the way in here if we go by the, the zodiac, like astrological kind of calendar when the new year started in April, in April with the zodiac calendar anyways. But enough of that. Boring professor kind of crap. <laughs> All right. Starseed Oracle card, please. Starseed Oracle. Thank you. Baby steps. Action. Follow your intuition before it makes sense. I like that. Let's see. See if I still have it here. Yeah, I do actually. Hmm. Let's see. There's not a number on here, but we'll get the. We will get the. Uh, just to, I'll find it one second here. All right, I'll read it real quick. It says you're being called to take grounded action in, in response to your soul's calling to start where you are and begin building a consistent way. So many people stop themselves from living a soul led life because they're waiting to know the destination before taking the first step. But intuition doesn't work like a lot. But intuition does not work like that. Our soul is always calling us every moment of every day. The way to finding yourself in harmony with the cosmos is to listen to your to your soul's baby calls and whisper each and every day and to take grounded action in the direction of those calls and whispers. You are being encouraged to start small, bite sized to put one foot in front of the other, to do one thing every day, to break things down into achievable tasks. Time on Earth goes slower than on other planets. This may cause frustration for star seeds. <laughs> Who can expect a faster pace of, pace of manifestation and thus give up before the seeds begin to sprout? Hmm. If you resonate with that, it's time to opt for consistency over urgency. Take time, uh, time, to, time to take baby steps in the direction of your calling. To remember that you don't need to have it all figured out or know exactly where the path is leading you. You don't have to know every single step along the way before you set out on your great journey. You just need to take the step. Star seed soul inquiry. What's one simple baby step you can take in the direction of your soul's calling? Let me answer the question. <laughs> ah, I don't know. Look, listen, I feel like that was I feel like that was a lot a, a lot for a lot of us out here. I, I really kind of feel. What's one simple baby step I can take in the direction of my soul's calling? To 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 spring into action without without knowing how things are going to turn out I'm, I'm i am a i am a perfectionist um and i and, and a lot of my false starts come because I, I i sit down to do something and i look at it and i don't like i'm like i don't like any of the i don't like any other way this looks or sounds it's not flowing right so i just kick it to the side i got a lot of unfinished books and novels poems uh artwork i've I, you know it's only because i'm, I'm really kind of hard on myself in that sense um, i always kind of look at stuff like you know what would i like to read taste uh hear um, things like that and how i like to hear certain things and so uh although i listen to anything but i but but, but it's i guess it's about what do i expect from myself nothing but the best when things come up as far as what i can do nothing but the best and when i don't feel like it's the best i abandon things so and and it also goes to uh not knowing not having everything I need at that time. So putting things off like that. So really, it's just kind of like, again, trusting my intuition. They, you know, uh, 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 what I have learned about writing over the years is that sometimes if you're a writer out there or even if you're you don't have to be a writer, you could be like an artist, some type of painter. But writing, uh, painting, uh, art, if you do artwork, those kind of things. Uh, but more, sp more, more, more specifically, writing. What I've learned is a lot easier to do is once you start writing, even if it doesn't, even if you don't think that it sounds good, just continue to keep writing. Uh, and I need to get back on, back on doing that as well. Uh, but no, just keep just keep doing it. Just trust your instincts, trust your gifts, trust your trust your soul's journey, the baby steps, so to, the baby calls, as it says. So I'm going to encourage myself to 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 be more in that energy, and I hope that helps somebody as well. Okay, that's the oracle message here. So let's get let's get down to some tarot. All right, so let's see. Well, let's let's pull on some dark mirrored energy. All 
All right, let's do it. Archangel Michael, uh, please protect this reading and clear out the energy so that I can give a clear and concise message to the collective. Downcast pride, number 20. This is a depression stage. It says bending to adapt becomes an excuse for the habit of bending. Bending to adapt becomes an excuse for the habit of bending. That sounds like people pleasing to me. Mm-hmm. Let's just get him a couple more cards. Let's get another card out here. True intentions. Because what I'm hearing is this is, it's just kind of like um, changing, changing oneself um, to fit in somewhere. Or saying or saying that you're that you're changing just to fit in somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Not because you need to change, but because you because you want to fit in somewhere. I don't know. That's kind of what I heard. Making an making an excuses for making an excuse for bending. So bending essentially would be the problem, which would that would that would be that would be the issue. So in a sense, it's just kind of like maybe somebody doing something, but blaming it yet, projecting it on, you know, uh, deflecting. But also, too, is just a person making an excuse for issues and not really dealing with the issue. Yeah, I drink. Okay, like I drink because I, I I only drink when I'm sad. So then a person's sad all the time. So they say, well, I'm 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 sad. I'm drinking because I'm sad. Well, no, it's really you may have a problem with drinking. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the way I kind of took that. Or it it could and it could could really just be like you know a person. Uh, you know, this is kind of like well I lie because I don't want to hurt people's feelings. But you're hurting people's feelings all the time. So, and that ain't got nothing to do with it. You, you know, you're lying because you don't want to tell the truth. That's the kind of the way I just kind of looked at that. I could be wrong, but I don't really think so. Trust my intuition. Give me the true intentions. What else would you like for us to know here? Greed. I'm pursuing wealth and power with no regard or ethical or moral boundaries. So we're talking about somebody who's very greedy. Or who deals with people who are greedy because we are talking about um oh no we're talking about somebody who okay let's get another card out here thank you laugh in the reverse nobody makes me laugh like you and i need some fun this person is not happy again not 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 laughing would be a, a, some type of this person feels like they don't have any type of support i'm here to support you and elevate you person or this or this person is not you know apply the roses they fit but unsolicited advice i'm certain i know best i'd hate to say i told you so i want to catch up and make sure everything is going well i feel like this is for who somebody needs to check with somebody this person this person could really kind of be defensive about receiving advice hold on because what are they making all that noise for 808 on the clock all right. Yeah. And safe space. I need a secure place to open up. Somebody needs some help. Somebody's very depressed. They need some help. Uh, this person with the unsolicited advice in the reverse. Uh, it could be that this person doesn't like unsolicited advice. They need some I'm telling you, collaboration. They need somebody to come in. Let's work together to achieve a shared success. So. Um, unsolicited advice could really just mean that nobody's offering, uh, especially with it being in the reverse. Nobody's offering unsolicited advice. This person doesn't is not giving. Somebody, somebody's extremely depressed. Something, and it has something to do with some type of greed. Let's get some initials out here. This person needs a secure place to open up, or you do. Collaboration. We can't. We can't do things by ourselves. You know, especially when it comes to mental health. We got the letter F. Especially with mental health, you know. FMI. That's 
What does that stand for? FMI. I just heard Miami, Florida. <laughs> Franklin Mutual Insurance. I mean, that could have something to do with it, but I don't know. Fondo Monterio International, Spanish for the International Monetary Fund. Oh, that did that. FMI, that does stand for that, doesn't it? Um, okay, so it, it has something to do with money. FMI. Mm -hmm. I, I briefly kind of learned about that, the International Monetary Fund. Um, Alexa. What is the International Monetary Fund? The International Monetary Fund is a major financial agency of the United Nations and an international financial institution funded by 190 member countries. With headquarters in Washington, D.C., it is regarded as the global lender of last resort to national governments and a leading supporter of exchange rate stability. Yeah, but it's something there's something that they do. Okay, yeah. Let's ask Copilot. Okay, Copilot comes. Food retailing system so that people can receive food. And it, you know, that's what it's for. It was founded in 1996, okay? This is from Copilot. Um, their chat GPT thing or whatever, their AI. Um, it's pulling it up, but no. It, it, from what I learned, it's 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 a it's a national, an international uh, banking kind of system to make sure that people have food all across the world. Okay, yeah, which seeks to ensure continued quality and efficiency in the food retailing system and is operated for charitable, educational, and scientific purposes to help support the role of food retailing. The FMI fo uh, Foundation focuses on research and education in the areas of food safety, nutrition, and health. Okay, there we go. All right. Uh, so, not to say that this hasn't, but but I feel, I feel like I feel like a, a charity is what charity like a charity uh, nonprofit organization is kind of what I just heard. Like a chair, a charitable like a charitable donation. We do have greed out here. FMI, I, 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 I the name Michelle could be significant. Fillmore. Fillmore. Family. This could be somebody in your family. Can I get three cards? Somebody's going to propose to you. Somebody's sitting around hating all day. <sighs> somebody's pleasuring themselves to your picture and somebody needs m m m MF and therapy. I feel like somebody's gonna come in and propose something to you about some money. I just heard this person's in over their head. Okay? This could be somebody that you have a sexual relationship with, especially with them pleasuring themselves to your picture. Somebody's sitting around hating all day. I don't really feel like they're hating on people. I just really kind of feel like this person is hating life right now. I feel like this person is very depressed because I feel like they got greedy. <laughs> So let's see. Can 
Can I get the, uh, tell me what's going on here, please. The devil, two cards came out. Can I get two more? Seven of cups in the reverse to the ten of swords in the upright. So we got the devil to the tower in the reverse. Wow. So seven of cups to the ten of swords. This person, this person is seeing the reality of their situation. Uh, the devil talks about addictions. The devil talks about bondage. The devil talks about anything low vibrational. Um, it could talk about the seven deadly sins, greed, gluttony. I feel like this person got greedy with some money. They're in over their head. They're seeing through. They're seeing through their bad habits now, and they are definitely looking at an ending. Okay, uh, but these vultures there. That that's the energy that's kind of uh, surrounding or looming over this person. They, it, they, it's like they're sitting. They're they're just kind of waiting for something to happen. They're waiting. They're, they they. It's like they they know the in ending is coming. They know at some point they're going to meet an ending. The tower in the reverse, they weren't paying attention to the signs. They, this person received a lot of warnings. This is what makes me feel like maybe this person has some type of addiction as far as money is concerned. This person could be, this person could uh, have a gambling, maybe like a gambling problem. Tell me, tell me what this person didn't pay attention to the warning signs for. What's the tower in the reverse to the devil? They lie. This person is caught up in some lies. Ace of Swords in the reverse. Clarify. Anything else about this? Four of Wands in the reverse. This person is about to lose uh, their stability. This could be a woman. trying to get away from this they really are they just they just want to get away from this because the nine of wands in the reverse they don't have a they don't they they don't there's not a good defense for probably ah, ah, ah. <laughs> yikes man this person took a bunch of money a lot of money spirit says that's the truth this person has taken some money from a company non-profit yep justice in the reverse and they didn't do it by themselves them and some other people Mm -hmm. This nonprofit organization could have something to do with children. Page of Cups here. What, Karma? What? Hmm. That's deep. Let's see if we can get a state out here. Punky Brewster. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Ohio. This comes out a lot, y'all. I'm going to get one more out here, though. The Buckeye State. Columbus is the capital. Arkansas, Little Rock, the natural state. We got two cards out here that could be very significant to this. Missouri, Jefferson City, the show me state. Yeah, I bet, buddy. Uh, yikes. So what did this person do? We already know what they did. What else you want us to know? Why did they take the money? There we go. Why did they take the money? What are they using this money for? Mm-hmm. 
You want to come up here? Want to come up here? Huh? All right. Lucky Brewster wants to come up here. So he looks like an old man. Doesn't he? Look at the camera. Look at the camera, nigga. <laughs> yeah. He wanted to come and say hi. All right. Enough of that. Okay. The secret's about to come out about what happened. The moon in the reverse. This also talks about this person's state of state of state of mind right now. Mm-hmm. The 18th of the month could be very significant of a month. We got the Queen of Wands in the reverse to the Eight of Cups to the Sun with the Seven of Pentacles here. The Queen of Wands in the reverse talks about a lot of things. This, you know, we could talk about a person being a dark witch. I don't really feel like that's what this is, but I do. I do feel like it's this person is very, um, very hateful, very bitter. I feel like this person's bitter. I feel like this person competes a lot. This person is very jealous. Uh, the Queen of Wands is somebody who's very nice looking, likes to likes to likes to be, you know, very kind of stylish. I feel like this person possibly has been taking money embezzlement for a very long time from this job. Oh yeah, this person has to, from an organization. I can't make it up. Empress in the reverse. There she goes. This person could be like the the head of this organization. This could be the CEO or some type of uh, some you know some, somebody that's in charge. We've got the Queen of Wands out here. So, I mean, she's the equivalent to the feminine of the King of Wands, who's a leader. But. First of all, this person has been uh, taking money for a very long time and, 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 and from this organization. There are a number of different ways I'm seeing here with the, with the eight of wands here. Moving money, moving money, laundering money. I feel like this person has, is trying to cover their tracks. They're trying to well, leave it all be. They're trying to find a way to leave it all behind. They're hoping, they're hoping they can walk away in, 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 into, a, into the, uh, the sun. They're hoping that they can, we'll keep these out. This, they, they, but they definitely, the Hierophant talks about organizations. This, this person did this to an organization that they work for. Okay. They're hoping that they're going to be able to, or maybe this is why the person did it. Maybe the person did it with the intention of just doing it and walking away into a brand new passionate beginning, everything brand new. This person likes new things, keeping up with the Joneses I just heard. Um, I feel like this person has been able to get away with it for a very long time, but they've been doing they've been doing something to maybe cover it up. Let's, let's get some more energy out here. Uh uh. Me? This person is a CEO of an organization. The name Timothy could be very significant as well. Now, this doesn't have to be a woman. I'm just saying it can be a man too. You know? Temperance in the reverse. Clarify temperance in the reverse. This person does have an illness. A mental health illness, quite possibly, but it definitely an illness or some type of addiction. I'm picking up on an addiction. I want to say gambling. That's what I keep hearing. Gambling. I'm not hearing like drug abuse. I mean, it possibly could be. Lovers in the reverse. This person has a sickness for making bad choices. <laughs> for being low vibrational. This person, this person definitely does. With the Queen of Wands out here in the reverse now, this I mean, we do we need to know all that? I mean. I feel like this person is just 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 has a problem making bad choices. This person could have like an addiction to maybe shopping, 
but definitely something with money. Maybe this person has a is, has an addiction with taking stuff. I don't really feel like that's what. I, well, I do feel like this person does have some. De- is very deceptive. Of course, they're taking money from an organization for kids. Okay, what the? Uh, but no, this person definitely has with the temperance in the reverse. That talks about illness. This person could just have a very like bipolar bipolar kind of they say bipolar can make people be you know uh, be deceptive and steal you know what i'm saying uh this person i just it's kind of like um uh someone who uh you know who's a who's a a liar what do they call those alexa what do you call people who lie all the time scab <laughs> no I'm just according to an alexa answers contributor the word for someone who lies all the time, compulsive liar, pathological liar. Thank you. You are so very welcome. Hope your Tuesday is going well. Yeah, this person wants to be released. Like this person wants to be released from this. Like I, I feel like this person is trapped, has trapped themselves, trapped themselves from a, from a lot of bad choices, taking, taking very impulsive action this is this this does kind of speak of somebody with an addiction mm-hmm. they've been giving a lot of money to somebody that they a, a hidden lover so wow wow it's not just them so the thing about being a path okay so I, after what i'm seeing okay so we got the Knight of Swords here. This talks about impulsive doing things before, like do not even thinking twice about it. This person doesn't give things a second thought, or, or like, I feel like that that describes this person's energy right now. Like, they're this person could be very kind of erratic, uh, being very impulsive. This person suffers from some type of impulse issue, or I don't know, but this person has been sharing something, sharing some of this money with the Hermit, a Virgo could be a Virgo. This person could be a Virgo, okay. But I feel like this person is uh, sharing with the Six of Pentacles here. Hermit card talks about things being hidden or somebody that's hiding. A lover, okay, a silent partner or a silent lover who is older than them. Younger than them, okay? This person has been spending a lot of money on somebody that doesn't even want them. Somebody younger than them that doesn't even want them. Doesn't even want them. Doesn't even want this person. Not anymore, anyway. I just really feel like whoever this is likes is very kind of about image and, and having things that they want. This person. So when you're dealing with a pathological liar, uh, it is so difficult, okay? A pathological liar. At some point, I've heard, don't even really realize that they're lying. They just lie because that's just. Alexa, what's a pathological liar? Here's something I found on reference.com. A pathological liar is a person who compulsively lies for personal gain and doesn't <clears throat> feel guilt or remorse when hurting other people. Pathological liars are considered to be sociopaths, meaning they have a personality disorder in which there is an absence of conscience and a sense of right and wrong. Thank you. <sighs> Anytime. Literally. Have a good Tuesday afternoon. You too, hon. Uh, this somebody named the name Leslie could be very significant as well. Well, the only the only conflict that I have with what we just heard, what we just heard, is that you know the whole thing about right or wrong. Uh, they have to have some type of, uh, I would assume so anyways, because a lot of times when I've dealt with people who seem to be pathological liars, they go through a great deal of effort. There's a great deal of effort to cover things up. They have to know it's wrong, right? Or do they just believe, or, did they, or, did, or, or was it 1977 could be very significant? Or is it, so, or does it that they know people think that it's wrong? They don't like they don't they don't want to hear it. <laughs> they don't have a they don't have any kind of remorse. Is that what I'm hearing? They don't have any kind of remorse about about what they do. They just want uh, 
they want they they just know other people are gonna have a problem like so it's like so it's kind of like you know you you doing something that you ain't got no problem with but you know everybody else got a problem with it so it's just kind of like I don't even want to hear it <laughs> I know what I'm I know what I'm doing is perfectly fine and right by my standards is that what that truly is I I I, I could be right about that because my 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 experience with people who and I'm not a doctor so I can't really diagnose anybody I can just go by actions. But like people that I've dealt with that were pathological liars, it seemed it was very easy. They, they listen. I could tell they was lying though, cause I'm I, I'm an empath. You know what I'm saying? 1993 could be very significant as well. But they sit there and they, and it's just like they don't they they got a they got an answer for everything, just like that. They do, <laughs> and the story mounts and mounts and mounts, and none of it is true. None of it is true. Uh, a lot of people who, you know, a lot of people don't consider omit omittance of facts or information lying either. But if you're watching today, it's definitely it's deceptive. A lot of times, too, with pathological liars or people that are trying to be heavily manipulative, they will use they'll use what you say to them against you in a sense of. So if you don't ask the question the right way, they're not going to give you the answer that you're looking for. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like asking somebody, where you been? Oh, I just been around town. And you go, oh, okay. You just, oh, you just was out riding around? Yeah, that's it. Now, you didn't, now they, technically from what they're telling you, they're being honest. Because you really didn't ask, well, where did you go? Well, they just asked where you been riding around town. Okay, you say, okay, you accept that answer. But when you start asking them probing questions, see, ask probing questions. So where'd you go when you was riding around town? Oh, they'll tell you everywhere they went except the place that you know that they went to. But then when you go, so you didn't, you didn't, you didn't go to the, you didn't go to the nightclub last night. You didn't go to the bar. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I, st I stopped in there for a quick second. I, you know, why, why didn't you mention it? I mean, I stopped in there for like all of three minutes, five minutes. You know, I, it slipped my mind. <laughs> that's the, that's that's what I'm telling you. Okay. So be aware of that. But ask probing questions. You know, a lot of times we accept what people tell us without wanting, you know, but that's trust. OK, but when somebody's showing you that you can't trust them um, and you and you want to and you want to confirm what you're feeling, you have to ask probing questions, especially when it comes to somebody who's a liar or a manipulator, but definitely a liar. OK. Judgment. This person is going to be under some heavy judgment. What do they want to ask from the collective, though? You know, I'm done talking about this person. You could be a king of wands energy. And there's Leo. Oh, no, man. Yeah, you're a Leo. Somebody's a Leo. They're going to ask you for some money. I told you. They're going to ask you for some money. They're going to ask you for some money to help them out with some money. They're not even going to tell you what's going on. They may just ask you for a large amount of money, I just heard. And and, and what I'm, from what I'm hearing, you've offered, you've, you've, you've helped this person possibly out with some money before and they've paid you back. So it's not like you... But this time, but this time I'm telling you, they're coming to offer you, they're coming to ask you first. Why, what are they going to do with this money? What are they going to do with this money? I feel like this person is going to ask you for at least a couple grand, if not more. Because whoever you are, you probably got a lot of money uh, for them to be coming to you like this. You got it like that, okay? But this person is going to come and ask you for some money. It's not going to be you know, 500 or no money like that. It's going to be some, it's going to be a couple of grand or more. What do they need the money for? The star in the reverse. Clarify. The high priestess in reverse. One more. The hanged one in reverse. Wow. This person, this person is, is this is going to sound really, really bad. The king of pentacles in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. This person is just going to ask you for money because they, they're going to ask you for a lot of, a larger amount of money. I don't know. It's not telling me what they're going to do with the money. Probably not anything good anyways. Uh, but from, from the looks of it, from the star in the reverse, the star in the reverse talks about things that are not healed. Okay. It's because this person seriously has some type of addiction or illness or something. They're stuck. The high priestess, they've been cut out. Like they don't, there's, this person is not being cognitive of what's going on. So this person could really have an illness. 
You know what I'm saying? Like this person could really just have an illness and has no concept of what's really going on. They do, however, know that it's something's about to come to a, a complete ending for them. Like they know that they're a sitting duck. I'm curious, how do they know that they're a sitting duck though? Don't y'all want to know? <laughs> I do. Let's use the uh, Madhouse Tarot since we're talking about mental illness. And I'm not making fun of nobody because you know what? Uh, I, you know, my concept, my thoughts about addiction is very, I don't really, it's unorthodox. A lot of people argue with me and disagree with me, but I'm just going off of what makes sense. An, addic an addict is somebody who cannot stop doing something, okay? Everybody, everybody who has a compulsion or likes to overdoes things is not an addict. I don't know. Uh, no, 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 no. But when it comes to stuff like this with money, you know, when we, when we talk about outside of like drugs and alcohol um, and, and sex, when it comes to stuff like this, to me, this sounds like a really big, like this person could really have like a mental health disorder. Again, I'm not a doctor. I'm just reading the cards here. I mean, picking up on the signs and synchronicities that the Matrix is offering. Somebody could say, nigga, you, you got a problem. You got a mental health disorder. Yeah, I, I, suffer, I, suffer, I suffer from I don't like a lot of bitches. <laughs> okay? So, out of here. That's really a condition. Queen of Wands, there she goes. Okay, what? What happened? Temperance in the reverse. I'm sorry, it hurts. This is about this person's illness. I'm telling you, this person has an illness. This person does need some help, though. You, you, you might. If this person come, when this person comes to you, you're gonna do what you want to do with your money. But I would definitely have a talk with this person. See what you can do to help them. Page of coins, because this person has a problem holding on to money, with spending money, four coins, holding on to it, and then lying about it. I feel like this person, so this person has been taking money again. I was, you know, trying to figure, clean it up a little bit. This person has been taking money and, and, and altering books or facts or whatever. They don't want to have this Ten of Swords, but they don't know what to do. Two of Coins in the reverse. Somebody looking into this. Some type, somebody, somebody has been looking over the, some, an analyst, the King of Swords here. Some type of some type of investigator or analyst because this is somebody who could possibly be like an IT could be somebody that's in uh, well the King of Pentacles would be somebody more like in banking but the King of Swords is somebody who's an analyst or like a lawyer or somebody like that somebody's looking into this and this person knows it I feel like they probably have asked this person do you listen Seven of Swords I'm telling you this person could possibly it could be some with them with bad choices I'm telling you the lovers represents choices. This, and it came out in the reverse again uh, with the, its organization. This person's in some serious regret. This because for the fool in the reverse for taking mm, 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 the page of the page of swords for doing for for trying to be slick going. This person whatever this person's been doing they've been doing underneath the radar for a very long time or so they thought or so they thought. Again, here we go. Justice. This person's this person's and karma in the eight of wands in the reverse. Yeah. You know? For this, listen. There's more than one person, okay? There's more than one person that did this at this job or this organization. She's not the only person, but this is the only person that really kind of I feel like picking up has the problem. There's a bunch of them, but check it out though. You got the Two of Cups here, which talks about agreements and partnerships in business. We got the Ten of Coins there. I mean, is that the Ten of Coins? Yep, the Ten of Coins there to the Wheel of Fortune. We had two people at this organization that made it. That made it. That that. We're working together to get money for this will of fortune so that they wouldn't be burdened. Possibly I'm telling you to hang, man, it's a done deal, man. They're stuck. These people are stuck. This person is stuck. Uh, I'm not a lawyer, but this person could really have like a mental health disorder. So you might want to ask this person if they, if they need to go see a therapist or a shrink. Okay. Yeah, because people are now seeing through the illusions of what these people collaborated to do with the three of coins in the reverse. King of coins in the reverse. Nine of coins in the reverse talks about gain, about how they took how they took uh, took from them to gain. But these people are about to lose all of their financial financial stability. Yeah, six of swords to the eight of coins. They'll be selling away from this job. Mm hmm. Listen, the two of swords talks about impasses or blocking something. We talk about the chariot here. So it means stopping. The Eight of Cups, they are not going to be able to walk away from this secret. No, they're not. No, they're not. 
I guess that's what you needed to know. I guess we'll close. What else? Did we, there was something else I was gonna pull here. I think I pulled everything I was gonna pull. Let's 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 close this out with an oracle card. What do you want the collective to know here? This is the Rebel Oracle deck. I would have released it. There's another video that I recorded this morning. Um, it went in the yellow. So I requested a review. They're going to change it. And then it'll probably be available. Yeah, probably be available later on tonight or tomorrow. I'll try to get one more in today. Because uh, my, my, the commitment that I made to myself was like, so of course it's about the language. And if you notice, I haven't really used any kind of profanity during this during this message, which I'm very proud of myself for. Because it is something that I, yeah, I made a commitment to work on. You know, we got to, I'm trying to be more, I'm trying to be, to have a balance of business and just maintain it, just keep just being smart about stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and ain't nothing wrong with that. At first, I'm not gonna lie. At first, I thought that at first I thought it was an absurd idea. <laughs> it's like them, that money, get all. You can come on here and say whatever you want to say and dedicate all this hours and creativity and, and giving out all this love and life and sharing your gifts for nothing, Dwayne, if that's what you want to do. <laughs> Dwayne sat back and said, nah, that ain't, that ain't it, partner. <laughs> it took me a while. It took quite, it took, I fought very hard and I was very consistent and I kept going against all the odds, being shadow banned, being attacked in real life. You know, having people thinking all these horrible things about me and not wanting to support me. It was, it was, it was an uphill battle. And I didn't do all that to throw, to throw it all away just because of some just because I want to use cuss words. That don't make sense to me. Okay. So, whatever. All right, let's get one more card. Let's get let's get a final message out here. It's 3 or 3 on the clock. Hey Colorado. Rebel. After I just <laughs> look at the devil playing with me because okay. <laughs> look at the devil trying the devil trying to get me caught up, huh? Yeah, that that I'm trying to tell you, but rebel. I don't know <laughs> what that has. That could have just been for me. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's get one more out here. Uh, be effing grateful. Ish could be much worse. Maybe this is the things you need to tell your friend. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe this is just for people in the collective that need to hear these last. Okay, because we already closed. Let's just close that out. Let's just get some oracle messages for the collective. Let's get about five more out here for people. What else does the collective need to know today? What kind of oracle messages? So we have rebel. Rebel. But it's rebel. Rebel. Because eff it. So you could be feeling a little kind of oppressed. You could be feeling like you, you're contained. The oracle says... Rebel, be a rebel, okay? Cause good trouble, not bad trouble. All right, somebody out there needs to understand that you just need to be effing grateful because ish could be much worse. Always practice gratitude. Always understand the fact that people have it worse than you do. But you know, when we're when we are in that low point, we don't want to hear that. <laughs> we don't want to hear that. But I but I will tell you though that that is that if that's one thing that keeps me humble, it is to me to understand that there are honestly. Uh, just because I'm going through some type of hard time doesn't mean that I should not show compassion or maybe understand why I probably should be grateful that I'm not where somebody else is. That's called empathy. That's called compassion. Okay. That's called being a human. <laughs> not just a being, but a human being. Okay. We're here for the human experience because we're already a being, a spiritual being. But you get a lot of beings here who are in these avatars that aren't human. You feel me? Don't show a lick of compassion for anybody or understanding. Believe what you see. Face reality or live in effing la la land. Choose bra choose bravely. So somebody needs to wake up and what you see is it, it is what it is. Okay, we we'll get two more out here. The name Robert could be very significant. Shmoney. Make it rain. Somebody's about to come into some money out in the collective. It's about to be raining on your head. Did I say one more or two more? Two more. One more. Six all together. No, three. Two more then. Okay. Two more. We're going to get six of these out here. 
One more. Nope. Oh, okay. Thank you, at least we got the two. Don't talk to anyone, don't look at anyone. You need some effing time alone and you know why. That's for somebody out there in the collective. Being in hermit mode, like I said yesterday, I woke up and I wasn't in a good mood. You might just, whoever you are, you might want to try again. Go take a nap and get back up and try again. You don't need to be around anybody when you're in a e mood, okay? You need some motherfucking alone time and you know why, okay? One last one. You are giving too many give zero so somebody out there has been taking a lot of cares a lot about things that you should not be caring about at least that's what the cards are saying you're giving out too much of your energy you're caring too much for things that don't even matter or that don't matter or, or that you don't matter to so you're giving out way too many fucks. you need to give zero fucks, mother that's the end of these messages Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Select the all option so that you know when all my uploads upload. You feel me? I'm your Uncle 79, the Spiritual Savage. Remember, you grow, I grow, I grow, you grow, we grow together. It's always love and light around this bitch. As always, take it easy. I love you. To the moon and back. Deuces. Savage.